Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I've got a lot on my head there. I hope you're all okay, I seem to have a new hat. But um, today we're gonna do a Halloween baking video for you all. We're gonna hop into the kitchen. Obviously Halloween's coming up. These are great to do with kids as well. Such a really fun, easy idea to do. So let's pop into the kitchen and make them now. Right, so we're in the kitchen and I'm just gonna run through the ingredients with you. Now, I know lots of people work in grams. I generally work in grams, but for some reason when I'm doing cakes, I always work in ounces. So you have to kind of, uh, ch you know, change what the uh, the equivalent is. So for the flour, we're using self-raising flour and I've got four and a half ounces of this. We've got six ounces of margarine. This is just a baking margarine. And we've got one and a half ounces of cocoa. And that's why we've only got four and a half ounces of flour because they kind of make up the six. Then we've got three eggs. As a rough rule, I know a lot of people do measure their eggs, but as a rough rule, this is why I work in ounces. Each egg is two ounces of the other mixture. So that's why I do it. I just find it easier. And then we've got six ounces of just normal sugar. You can use granulated sugar. That's what this is. Or you can use caster sugar. I use both. So it's absolutely fine. So it's a dead basic recipe. Great to do, you know, if you're a good baker or if you're a new baker or with kids, it's, it's just easy. So what we're going to do to start with is to pop our marge and our sugar and we're going to cream them together into the mixer. So we'll shove these in here. Okay. And we'll just give those a mix. Right, so we're going to stop it. And then what we're going to do is get all these little bits down from the edges. Now, this part of making this type of cake is really important because you want to beat this together as much as you can. And it needs to go lighter in colour. So... Obviously, it's more of a yellowy, creamy, creamy colour at the moment, and it will go lighter once you've, you know, given it a good mix. If you are doing this with just a spoon and by hand, it's going to take you a little while and get your muscles going. They are um, good if you've got like a hand mixer as well. They're quite good, but you really do need at this stage to give it a real good mixing round. Right, I've just actually put the oven on to preheat it but what I'm going to do is show you I might give it a little bit more but can you see how it's lightening in colour I am going to just give it a little bit longer um there isn't a time to give it you know it's going on a few minutes but just just look at it and see whether it, it lightens and looks like it's had a good you know a good mixing round so I'll put this on a little bit longer what I've done is I've cracked the eggs in a bowl and I'm just going to put this into here and then we'll put those in um We'll alternate a little bit of that in and then give it another mix round. Rightio, I think we're about done on that now. So what we're going to do, let me just move this because I might not be able to get the bowl in. So I'm going to put half of this in, around about half, and maybe a couple of the eggs unless they all plop in. And we'll give that another mix. Obviously got to put this back on. I just would have found it hard to get the the flowering without it going everywhere is that on properly yeah right so we're going to give this a mix round when that's mixed in we'll pop in the rest of these bits right the mixture's ready now so we've got our baking tin and i've also got this really cool cupcakes they came from aldi they had a few different designs but i love these look how cute they are so i thought they'd make a nice spooky cake case I think they had like a couple of different packs, a couple of different sets in there. Maybe 99p, I think. Don't quote me on that. They might not be, but I'm sure that's what I paid. So but you get loads in here. So I'll probably give them to Courtney because she would like those. So that's that. And all we're going to do is pop some mixture into the cake cases. Make sure your hands are clean, obviously, before baking anyway. But um, just pop a bit of spoon a bit of mixture into the uh, the cake cases don't forget i have preheated the oven um, we're on 180 degrees um, the oven doors obviously closed it's getting nice and hot in there because they make nice nicer cakes if you preheat the oven so there's another little tip for you as well so we're just mm, fill the rest of these up now incidentally if you wanted to make gluten-free 
cakes if you've got anybody that's gluten free then all you need to do is stick to exactly the same recipe but just use some self-raising gluten-free flour white flour most supermarkets sell that now we get it from as do their own one which is quite nice you can get them from tesco's waitrose Al um not aldi asda aldi doesn't sell it um well but loads of the big ones morrison's they sell it so just use that if you want to make them dairy free because these are actually dairy free just use margarine that hasn't got milk in that's all you need to do so that, that makes them dairy free so what we're going to do now is pop these into the oven and i'm going to give them probably about 15 to 20 minutes just until they're cooked just keep an eye on them being chocolate sometimes you can't tell so much when they're done um but just keep your eye on them and then we'll get them back out the oven when they're all done Right, so they've been in the oven for 20 minutes. I'm just going to leave them in the pan just to cool down for just a few minutes. And then I'm gonna transfer them over here onto this cooling rack. And then what we'll do is start and mix up the, um, the cakes are almost cooled, but not quite. So I'm just gonna pop them to one side for a second and then we'll work on the buttercream. So I'm going to do two different colored fillings. So I'm going to split the buttercream down. So I'll do six ounces of icing sugar and three ounces of marge. And then I'll repeat that again for the second colour. So if you're just doing all the same colour, do 12 and six. I also pop in some of the Miss Molly's, um, or whatever it is, vanilla essence. This is the one I've got. It's just a cheap one. Any kind of flavourings, orange, you know, you can flavour it minty, you can flavour anything that you want. So what I'm going to do is pop this into the mixer. Um, and then add a little bit of that and then we'll pop a bit of food colouring in as well. So we'll just get these ready, get the piping bags ready. I think the cakes are almost cooled. Now obviously make sure they're cool before you start piping them. You can use a mug if it's, um, or a glass if it helps you to hold this still. Put that in there. Right, so now the next bit we need to do is to get to the cakes and we need to get a knife, go in at a slight angle and sort of work the knife around. And this is just the same way that you make butterfly cakes where you cut the little top circle out and cut it in half. So you do that and then you have that little section. So keep that little section with the cake for now and just do the same thing to the rest of the cakes. So they're all done. So we'll just take one of them, pop those to one side and I'll show you what to do next. So take the top part off and then what we're going to do is to get our mixture that we made and we're going to put a little blob of it in here. Now this is then going to turn into our monster because we're going to pop the lid on so it looks like something's peeking out. Then we're going to put some of these edible eyes on. Now I picked these up from Asda, but I know that lots of supermarkets do sell them. And do them. And we're going to pop some eyes on the front of our little monster. Now I think because it's a monster, we should have three eyes or more or one. Because I'm not sure monsters have two eyes, do they? There we go. How cute does that look? So I'll do the rest and the rest of the six in the blue and then I'm going to do the other six in the green and then our little cupcake Halloween monsters will all be finished. They're all finished. How cute they look. I love the green and the blue together. I think they look really, really sweet. And instantly I picked these up from Aldi as well. I think they were either like 49 or 50p. I think they make a really great decoration. So that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this little Halloween tasty treat. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.